Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? Okay, some people are asking, what's the difference between a gold standard and an asset-backed currency? So I'll get into that just a little bit, but let's get into the news for the day. Before we get started, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please do so, because when you do, it helps out the channel. And I certainly do appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying gold and silver, head on over to our friends at Miles Franklin. The link will be down below in the description. When you make your purchase, make sure you use promo code PIMPY, P-I-M-P-Y, and they'll take care of you. If you have any additional questions, you can reach us over here at this phone number or over here at this particular email. For all orders over $10,000, reach out by email and we'll make sure that you get a great deal. So come on over to Miles Franklin and add to your precious metal inventory. Okay, so Iraq is officially investigating the UNDP bribery allegations made by the Guardian in post-ISIS reconstruction scheme. We spoke about this before. This is when you have the UN workers. They are asking for bribes. And then what they'll do is put you in contact with the person that knows how to do the proper paperwork to make sure that your request for certain projects gets through. And then you got to bribe them. Then once your contract is fixed, you have officials that are supposed to come over and investigate your work. Then you have to bribe them. So it's really a pain in the ass to do any real work over there in Iraq because there's a lot of hoops you got to jump through just to get a contract over there. The Iraqi Integrity Commission has launched an investigation into corruption allegations linked to the United Nations work in Iraq following accusations of bribery published earlier this month by British newspaper The Guardian. The announcement was made on the commission's official Facebook page. The Guardian report alleged UN employees in Iraq working under a United Nations development program had accepted bribes for Iraqi businessmen to secure contracts for reconstruction projects. The Integrity Commission responded by forming a team to investigate the claims and is seeking evidence and clarification from the newspaper's editor according to its statement. The United Nations in Iraq confirmed the departure of its special representative, Jean Plashart, but distanced itself from the corruption allegations against sister agency UNDP and denied this was linked to the scandal. So a lot of people were thinking that Janine was stepping down because of the bribery scandals, but again, she's already done her five years. The UNAMI emphasized its commitment to accuracy and urged the media to avoid misleading information. UNAMI would like to set the record straight regarding the recent circulation of misleading reports in various Iraqi traditional and social media outlets concerning the departure of Janine Blashart, said the UNAMI in a statement on Wednesday. So it's circulating that that's why she's stepping down and that's what they wanted to clarify. UNAMI emphasizes that the SRSG departure in May aligns with its usual practice within the United Nations, including the standard rotation of senior UN officials. Ms. Plashart concluded her five-year term on 6 of February, calling for Iraq to remain neutral in regional conflicts. She faced criticism during her tenure for alleged bias towards certain Iraqi factions, according to the news. So what are they accused of? According to the investigation by The Guardian, the UNDP alleges allegations center on alleged corruption and mismanagement in a major reconstruction project in Iraq, funded by $1.5 billion from the international donors and intended to help rebuild the country after the defeat of ISIS. The investigation claimed that the UN staff demanded bribes of up to 15% of the contract value from contract in exchange for securing reconstruction projects. 15%. Good lordy, man. I'm definitely in the wrong business. <laughs> See, here's the problem. If they are found guilty, there needs to be a really super harsh punishment to deter people from doing it again in the future. It also suggests that the Iraqi government officials involved in overseeing the projects alleged received kickbacks. See, that's another thing I'm talking about. So not only do you have to pay the UN person briberies, but then also the politicians. The UNDP has vehemently denied these accusations, stating its commitment to zero tolerance for fraud and corruption. They added that internal mechanisms are in place to prevent and detect such activities. 
Yeah, see, it doesn't work when your politicians are corrupt as well. Because these are the people that are behind enforcing these laws or mechanisms. So if they're corrupt, they can bypass these mechanisms. However, further concerns were raised regarding their project's efficiency and transparency. Critics allege that funds were misspent on unnecessary items like redundancies and overheads, while other questioned the reported impact of completed projects. The investigation highlights instances where project claims divergence from reality on the ground with inflated numbers and overstated benefits. So what was happening is people were turning in reports stating that a project was completed when it wasn't completed. A UN probe has been launched to investigate the allegations. Additionally, donors have agreed to extend the program for two more years, but with stipulations to redirect remaining funds towards demonstrably impactful social and institutional development initiatives. Iraq's Integrity Commission has the authority to investigate corruption involving non-governmental organizations, private companies, and foreign officials. It has pledged to make a public announcement once the investigation into this matter. I like how it says they're allowed to investigate non-governmental organizations. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you think. I look forward to hearing from you. I'm out.